Hi there, um, I'm wanting to come in and purchase a camera, but I was wondering if you could let me know if it was in stock before I came in to buy it. Yeah. It's the Sony ZV-E10. The one that's $1,195? Yes, that's the one. Yeah, I can check for you. Cool, thank you. Oh uh, yes, we have it in stock. Oh cool, amazing. Alright, I'll be in in about an- uh, what time do you guys close? Oh, we close at 9. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be in well before that. <laughs> cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, bye. She's going to buy a new camera. But my camera right now is flashing saying the battery needs to be changed. This is exactly why I'm getting a new camera. Also, another reason I'm getting a new camera is because this is my first time using this camera since I had to glue it up because it broke again. If you were here for a in-depth comparison of my Canon G7X Mark II and the Sony Z the E10 that I'm about to purchase. You have 100% got the wrong video. But if you want a rookie review of the two cameras and a comparison, I'm sure I'll do that later in the video. So I'll pop a timestamp here. You can jump to that time and that'll tell you all you need to know. This is slightly spontaneous in the fact that I decided I was going to buy it today when I woke up this morning. But it's also not spontaneous in the fact that this has been my Roman Empire for the past like 12 to 18 months. I know that my dearly loved G7X is on her way out. I've had this camera my whole YouTube journey basically. I got it five and a half years ago for my 16th birthday. It has served me so well. I have produced over like 350 YouTube videos with this camera. I've just been putting it off because A, I didn't have the money and B, I didn't know what to get. I am a Canon loyal girl that comes from a Canon loyal family. My dad is a photographer and he is like Canon through and through. So I'm about to be the black sheep of the family owning a Sony. But anyway, quick rundown of why I've chosen this camera. Some standout features that have made me be like, yup, that's the one for me. First up is the image stabilization. Second is the microphone. Third is interchangeable lenses. Fourth is image blurring background like you see like right now where I'm filming you guys can see everything everything is on show I want a camera where you can like have a bit more depth of field got a higher ISO um, which will be cool for night photography which is what my dad specializes in so he will love that as well. My G7X, what is it destined for? Honestly, not a heck of a lot. I'm not gonna bother selling it because it's literally falling to pieces and that would be embarrassing to try and sell that. And in terms of a point and shoot, it's actually a really good camera, like probably top tier in terms of point and shoot cameras, as it should be for the price tag. So I am gonna hang on to it. I guess we're gonna make this into a little vlog. So it is Friday afternoon. I am currently making a dessert because I was meant to be going to my brother's house for dinner, but they all have COVID. So I'm not going there for dinner anymore, but I already started making the dessert because I had to start making it last night and they've just informed me that I can't go there for dinner anymore so I'm gonna take the dessert and drop it at the doorstep and run. Obviously gonna keep some for myself as well. It was my first time making custard from scratch last night and it was quite an enlightening experience. So long story short I had this chili bin turn up. Actually I'll show you. This chili bin turned up at my doorstep the other day. Super random. This one right here has anchor on it and it's like a Napoleon branded chili bin. I've never heard of Napoleon so I was like oh, I'll search this up and see what it's all about. They're like $200 chili bins from like Supre and I was like what the heck? Obviously this lovely gift was from Anchor so shout out to them. But the chili bin was full of obviously as Anchors it had milk, cream, butter and a whole bunch of other ingredients for me to make a custard banana tart. So this is what we're trying to make and this is what we have so far and I just realised I probably should have done this in a dish that wasn't this one anyway, it's fine. I have just caramelised some bananas. It looks a little bit runny if I'm being honest but... Alright, I'm gonna put the bananas on top and I'll drop that off on my way to buy my new camera! This is gonna be a long process if I have to do these one by one. This doesn't look very pretty. I think I overcooked them. Kind of smells like a banana split. Okay, I think there's probably enough banana to be honest. Mmm, that's so good. There's literally just butter, brown sugar, water and banana. This is the container that I'm gonna put the cake in. The cake, the slice, the tart. I don't really know how I'm going to get it out of the thing. So I have my knife and I have this, which is ready to give up. The base on this is way too thin. I've made... Oh! Sorry, Mum. I have to use our Scody spatula. Oh, it's all stuck to the bottom. Me being like, it's fine, it's a non-stick tray. Yeah, when you put oil on it. That can be my dessert. Oh, it's got no base on it. Okay, note to self, if you're going to make it, do it in a non-stick thing and put oil on it too. What's the bet I'm gonna drop this off at the house? You're like, oh, we don't like banana. And I'm like, well, just eat it. Cause I'm not taking it back now that it's got your COVID cooties on it. And I am determined that my mother's pie dish is not gonna go walk about. So we're gonna 
put a little Stevens on the bottom. <laughs> Stunning. All right, let's go and make the special delivery and go buy a new camera. I pull up and they're literally all out on the deck having a barbecue without me. I was meant to be participating, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go drop this at the door. Enjoy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next stop is JB Hi-Fi. Also, do you ever have situations where you're at an intersection and someone just like pulls out in front of you and you're like, mm, that was a dumb move. And then when you get up behind them, you realize that their whole like, back of their car is like dented in. You're like, mm, you know what? I'm actually not surprised because uh, I just had one of those moments. <laughs> Anyway, I should probably focus on my driving after making comments like that. We are in Monaco. Time to find a car park. It doesn't actually look that busy, which is surprising. I thought everyone would be out and about doing their Christmas shopping, you know, but maybe people are organized. Maybe they've got better plans for a Friday night. Can't blame them. It's always so nostalgic coming here because my dad used to work here when I was younger. Oh, yo. That's my luck. There's someone right up my bum. I can't. Don't mess this up. Don't mess it up. I love being that annoying person that backs into parking spaces. Absolutely slayed that. All right, time to go and drop some cold hard cash on a new camera. Let's see if we can nail this whole vlogging in public thing because um, it's actually busier than I thought. This shop is so overwhelming. It's like the chemist warehouse of technology stores. Secured. Let's go. The G7X is officially stepping into retirement. Here we have it. In all of its glory, well not really, I need to take it out of the box, but I'll need to charge it up and stuff before I use it. But it is the Sony ZV E10. Time to call my dad and let him know that I've bought a new camera because he has no idea. I was kind of, kind of said to him, like, oh, I might go buy a new camera, but I don't think he thought I was actually being serious. Calling dad mobile. Hello there. Hello. I've just been to JB Hi-Fi and bought my new camera. Oh, did you? Yep. Did you get a good deal on it? Yeah, I got... Uh, $374 off it. It was the price that was listed on the website. I'm home, I'm changed, and it's time to make some dinner. I knew that I was gonna be getting home late though, so on my lunch break, I prepared my dinner. It looks absolutely disgusting, but it's gonna taste amazing. It's fritter mixture for halloumi, carrot, and corn fritters. But yes, I rang down on the way home, and he honestly, genuinely seemed like he was more excited than I am about it. The camera is sitting over there on the couch, I want to do like a proper unboxing, I want to enjoy the experience of it because it's not going to be happening again anytime soon. Dinner is coming along stunningly. I was like, oh, I'll just throw the leftover like, you know, those potato like hash brown bite things that you can get there called potato gems. I was like, oh, we've got some in the freezer, I'll put whatever's left in the bag in the air fryer and I'll have them with my dinner. There were five left in the bag and I can't even be like, oh, who put five in the bag and put it back in the freezer? That was me. I did that. So anyway, I'm having five potato gems, some corn carrot and halloumi fritters and a little side salad I'm just dishing her up over here stunning all five of them get myself a kombucha because i'm gonna sit down and watch a christmas movie i realize it's like halfway through december and i'm yet to watch a christmas movie so i made a little list on my phone today of some that i want to watch growing up i don't know why my family never really watched we watched a lot of tv but we didn't really watch movies and so there's a lot of iconic Christmas movies that I just haven't seen. My favorite Christmas movie is by far The Polar Express. Also love Home Alone. But I haven't seen, like I haven't seen The Grinch. Everyone's like, oh The Grinch. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Don't know anything about it. I haven't seen Elf. Those are two iconic ones everyone seems to know about that I don't know a thing about. I think tonight I'm going to watch like a Christmas like rom-com. Got myself a kombucha. This one is a new limited edition one. It's pink grapefruit. When I turn the TV on it reminded me. It reminded me of two things. Firstly, Whoever decided to put a Netflix button on a TV remote, they're making power moves. Secondly, if Sony can make cameras like they make their TVs, then I'm pretty confident that I'm onto something good. Dinner has been consumed. This kombucha I think is my new favorite. They need to bring this in full time. This can't be just limited edition. Dinner was delicious. I am 13 minutes into my movie. I'm watching Catering Christmas. Just like when I read books, I don't read the synopsis. When I watch movies, I don't read what they're about. I just watch them. Really counting on the Netflix recommendations to pull through. So far, so good. But anyway, time to unbox my camera. Okay, lots of instruction manuals in every which language. Oh, it comes with all the power plugs for all the... That's really handy. Not that I ever travel anywhere, but if I did... What's this? Envelope. Oh, it's my dead cat. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> for some context before you guys report me to like the SPCA or something. This is a little muffler that goes on top of the microphone. So if it's windy, you can actually hear the person talking and you don't just hear the wind. It has like a power inlet and then a USB 
part. I'm assuming, you know, this is where it would probably be a good idea to read the instructions, but it should be pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of like putting together a puzzle. What's this? That is the battery. There should be a dock for the battery to go on, I would have thought. Oh, maybe it just straight up discharges straight while it's in the camera. Oh, that's a bit cute. It's got Sony on the strap. Is that like a full on, I'm not wearing this like a necklace, that is not on my agenda. Let's just, we'll keep that in the box, along with the overseas power adapters. Stop, it's so fresh! Canon, you better focus on this. If it doesn't, I call it sabotage. Oh my gosh. This is stunning! This really is showing me how battered and bruised my poor G7X is. Let me put my little dead cat on the top. Stop, this makes me look so legit! Like if you walk past someone in the street and you saw them with this, they mean business. Oh my gosh. I feel like I could cry. Okay, I feel like I just need to state the obvious right now. But thank you to you guys, because genuinely without you, I wouldn't have this fun little toy right here. I wouldn't have this platform. So thank you so much. This is your guys' Christmas present to me. Let's just put it that way. That's my way of girl mathing this. This is insane. Like when I got the G7X, it was for my 16th birthday, and I've been looking at buying it for months, and I just, I was, like, I was 15, and so I didn't have the money to drop on a camera. And my parents, bless their souls, I don't know why they spent that much money on me, bought me the camera for my birthday. And I was like, right, no more excuses. Time to, like, give this YouTube thing a crack. I had 41 subscribers, which was just my friends and family. I just, like, literally just sent it. <laughs> like, this is so crazy, because I like, guess I love my G7X, but I didn't, like, I guess I chose it, but I didn't buy it. Okay, I'm, I feel like the battery's probably going to be flat, but let's open it up. Should I turn it on, or should I charge it up? It's probably a responsible thing. No, I'm just going to turn it on. Oh, maybe it's dead flat. I think it's dead flat. Right, I need to plug it into charge and I'll finish my movie and then we can... Ah, I'm so excited! The Sony is still charging, so we're still on the G7X here. But I have my... <laughs> a bit of tart that just like kind of flopped into the plate, but I'm going to give it a taste test. Hmm, that's not bad. That's actually decent. Like, I knew the recipe was going to be promising, but I did not back my ability to execute it, but not bad. Keep watching my movie so far. It's so good. This is still a Canon, by the way, guys. The Sony's still over there charging. But I don't want to take it like it's not finished charging yet. I don't want to take it off charge it prematurely. So anyway, I need to go to bed. So I will wait till tomorrow. And that can be my little thing for tomorrow. Literally like Christmas. It's so fun. I'll see you guys in the morning for a camera comparison. Good morning. The camera's been charging and there's a little light normally out of here. But the light has gone off. Which means that the camera is charged. I need to find an SD card for it actually before I can turn it on. Let me go do that first. Got one, plug her in and see what we've got. We have acquired a formatted SD card. This is only 32 gigabytes, which is what I have in this camera right now. And it works great. My Canon only shoots in 1080p, whereas this shoots in 4K. So I don't know if uh, 32 gigs is gonna be enough. Oh my goodness, my camera battery is flashing on my Canon again. Let me go swap the battery and then we can resume. Okay, I need to take the lens cap off, otherwise I'm gonna turn it on and be like, why isn't it working? Whoa! Oh my goodness! I need to, where's the record button? Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey! How does this work? Oh, whoa! Wow. How far does it go in? Wow. Flip it around. Oh, and it has a red light on it. So I can see when it's recording. This is gonna take a bit of getting used to because the viewfinder is off to the side. And people are like, oh, just don't use the viewfinder. But how am I gonna know if my face is in the frame if I don't use the viewfinder? Not gonna lie, this lens isn't as wide angle as I was hoping. So I'm thinking that a new lens is gonna be the next thing on the wish list. All right, I'm filming on both cameras right now. <laughs> Like this is so interrogating. You guys have been hearing the Canon audio this whole video. So let's cut the Canon audio. Let's bring in the Sony audio from here. Okay. How are we sounding? Is it better? Is it worse? Is it much the same? Sound like an optician when you're at the <laughs> getting your glasses fitted. Honestly, like I'm gonna be totally honest. Obviously, such early days. Haven't even looked at this footage in post-production yet of the Sony. I just I don't know why. Eh? Like, have I just like hyped this up too much and it's not actually the lens situation is not what I had envisaged. So I'm thinking that a new lens is going to be the first thing to happen. But that's going to need to wait a little while because I just spent all my money on the camera itself. With the Canon, I'm so used to just looking at the viewfinder above the lens. Because when you look at the viewfinder, it, it still looks like you're looking at the lens. Whereas with the Sony, if I'm looking 
at the viewfinder on the side, it's going to be dead obvious that I'm not looking at the lens. So I need to get used to looking straight into the soul of the camera and then we'll be fine. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this impromptu video. See, I don't even know which lens to look at right now. I'm just going to look at the decat and then it'll be like in between both the lenses. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for coming along this little journey with me, this impromptu vlog to go and buy a camera. Technically this video should be going up on a Monday, but that Monday falls on Christmas Day and I don't want to be posting on Christmas Day. I don't want you guys to be watching YouTube on Christmas Day. You should be hanging out with your whanau on Christmas Day. So I think this will be like a little pre-Christmas present for you guys. Um, it's a little bonus video. So if you made this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment your honest opinion on whether you're thinking that the picture on the Canon looks better or the picture on the Sony looks better. Anyway, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year because I think this is going to be my last video of 2023. Anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you in 2024! Woo! <gasps>